Britons at all. Because before the expansions, Britons were already extremely strong in that stage of the game. But anywho, next game got to come up. Thank you all for being here once again. You guys are amazing. You guys are all amazing. Cat is active. People enjoying the games. Best game in the world. Best community in the world. And for the next game, we have Leary as Indians in the blue. And then Viper is playing as the Vikings. I just had to, to think for a moment about, about what we could potentially see. This could actually be cool if, this could, if it was late game. Uh, Indians have been the one of the stronger civilizations in this tournament. Uh, one of the strongest civilizations in the New Balance. They have insane camels. They have insane economies because the bills are cheap. And maybe this is the insanity that Leary will need to win this game. Uh, Leary is here in the blue. The map is very open on the front, but luckily for him, he has a nice wood line. And he has a nice main gold there. It's going to be hard again for him to wall up. His stones and golds forward will not be good as the game goes on. Now look at Viper's base. Viper has two wood lines on the back. Nice main gold. Viper has walled a lot in this tournament, and he's done a good job with it. This map will be hard to wall, though. While in theory, he could wall in between these tree lines, between the cliff and the wood here. Uh, same thing goes here. That's a lot of walling, and that's more than Viper will be able to do early game. So, we know what Indians are good at. They have strong economies because their builds are cheaper. They could always start with Man at Arms, but oftentimes you see players go scouts because you can have such an early and deadly scout attack. Also, it's great to have the scouts because you can get across to the enemy side of the map early. Then Viper. Viper is Vikings, and... Well, he should know the Vikings very well, seeing as he is Norwegian, but... I also somewhat do, and I imagine we'll see either a Drush into Archers, which Viper loves, and he does time and time again, or we will see Man at Arms into Archers as well. Now, later on, Vikings' economy is really going to pay off in Feudal Age to get Free Wheelbarrow, which allows those faster Drush Fast Castles, and then also in the Castle Age to get Free Handcart. And then maybe, if everyone types Berserk Hype, we will see the Berserk. Which would pair off quite decently versus the Imperial Camels, I believe, with full upgrades in him. But I doubt we'll see them in Castle Age. It's such an investment to get there. But I know everyone loves them, so everyone's going to say Berserk Hype. <laughs> oh man. We could see Leary lose his scout. Nah, he's going he's gonna to run away. War on Wood, start for Viper. If I were to make a guess, I would say Viper would do exactly what he did in the first game and what he's done in many games where he will drush then he will go up slightly later on 25 26 villagers and not necessarily fast castle but just add archers this is great for leary look at this leary distracted viper's tc and he's stealing the sheep and this villager he really wanted to eat the sheep today i don't think viper should be chasing this this is hilarious oh yeah there we go See, Leary left the line of sight. Oh, he's stolen the sheep back! That's hilarious! Leary, don't leave the line of sight of the sheep again. I mean, either way, he could kill the sheep. Yeah, that's a waste of time for Viper. Well played, Leary. Sometimes you'll see players run back and forth when the enemy TC is shooting. Leary did that for a moment. Just to cause idle time. That was basically a successful drush there for Leary, I think. Viper sending the scout back to deal with Leary Scout because he sees it's on low HP. <laughs> Roasted lamb denied. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Alright, Barracks for Leary. He's getting the crucial scouting info he needs at Viper's base. And Viper no longer chasing him down. A Viper did not go to Leary's... Oh, he did, but he didn't scout a lot of Leary's base. I think he felt obligated to come back with the scout. And he's going to lure a deer while he's here. The Viper adding the Militia, this is what I expected. House walls along the front here. Still a lot of open areas for him. And we're going to see the same thing from Leary. So to be completely honest, I was somewhat surprised at the fact that Leary went for a lot of man-at-arms and feudal aggression. Because when we watched the Best of Five training uh, series, which was a couple weeks ago now, Leary did a lot of drush into like, fast castle strategies, or a lot of drush into archer strategies. 
and he did a lot better versus Viper. I, I believe he actually won that, that best of five series in practice games. Of course, practice games are completely different, and I know for sure that they employ different tactics they wouldn't have done, but I, I'm just surprised in previous games that he didn't do what he's doing now. I expected the players to mirror each other a little bit more. Whether it's a strategy thing or maybe a mindset thing from Leary, I'll never know. But he's clicked up to Feudal, so again, he has gone up on 23 bills. Just delayed his Feudal Age time. And Viper will probably do the same now as he's researching Loom. A Vill fighting here for Leary, but Scout fighting here for Viper. Both players going to lose Militia, but to me, this is a... Oh! Oh, 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 Viper gonna lose his scout. That's a better engagement for Leary. Great job from Leary to keep his scout alive. And this militia will not offer much to Viper. In fact, it will die if it does not run. So now we have one villager, probably more, going to gold for Leary. He's gonna finish up these walls. He too has a difficult map to wall off. And Viper, he sent five to gold. Huh. Five to gold, and we'll be adding an archery range. So if you could foresee what your opponent's gonna do, conceivably you could go for skirms, right? I think top players prefer archers because they often don't lose their archers in fights. They normally avoid the fights for skirms. And also it's slightly healthier on the economy, but Leary's hit now. He only has one on gold, and yeah, he's going with the archery range. Viper's little militia scout here is going to block the building, which is hilarious. <laughs> Set's intentional, too. Uh, he killed his friends. He's going to have the last laugh. The two archery ranges probably for both players now. Viper will build them where? He's great scouting of his base. He's going to build them on the hill. This could be walled off as the game goes on. This is already house walled. And this will just be a slow mass of archers and scouts now. Um, sorry, not scouts, skirms. And Leary has chosen to go skirms while Viper... You know, I wonder if Viper scouted... He didn't scout how many Leary had on gold. So I really don't know what he's expecting. Leary does have his scout. This is the importance of it. And he's going to see what Viper's up to. Oh my goodness. Viper so close to finishing off that scout with a quick house wall and the hit from the Ville. Hold on, hold on. Nah, he's too far away. Yeah, the reason I asked if Viper had possibly seen what Leary was doing is because if he knew Leary was going skirms, then he would probably go with his own skirms and not archers. And it was just an intuition thing, I guess, because he, he actually didn't see it. So Leary's 1 HP scout will probably die here. He's a boss, he's not going to die. Four skirms now for Leary, and Viper did add archers after the first two skirms, so he's going to need to possibly use Vills just to keep these units away. Viper housed, which is not like Viper. And Leary actually has the lead with the military right now. Not really counting the scout. The scout will distract, but it's not going to contribute too many hits to the skirms. And Leary's going to house wall. Going to house wall this. He's palisade walled this, and he's finished the walls here. So, for the first time in a while, Leary first to get to the walls, and Leary with early aggression. And it's actually paying off here. Start. Both players getting fletching at the same time, and Viper made the mistake of adding those two archers. I really don't like that. But he sees pull the archers to the back of the group there. The archers are going to be bait. Leary trying to get to the hill because he's more skirms coming in, and both players getting fletching. They didn't know that the other person was completing at the same time. Viper has a small hill advantage here, and Viper actually leading in the micro now, sending a bill. You notice it's now 2-2 two to two because Viper's losing units, but start, it was 2 for 0. Viper throwing away another archer. Look at Leary's micro. Now Leary is really going to be able to pile on the aggression because Viper's bills haven't taken many hits here. Or applied many hits. And Viper's losing numbers. He only has three units left. And Leary just does not care about fighting this. He has the defense upgrade too. And then the scout finally goes down. Leary was fighting uphill for most of that engagement as well. Which is impressive. 
A nice pickoff from Viper to bring this back. But the Archers have done absolutely nothing. If Viper was watching another set of players play and he saw that, he would probably call that inexperience or just a bad move altogether, and that's what he did. And Leary loves to micro, guys. Even if it's just skirms, it matters. And better start for him, which is why Viper's adding a third archer range as well. And Viper will lose a villager. The skirmishers. All right. The dodging continues. And Leary's winning in the micro battle. The splits. He wants to get to the top of this hill. And now you see one archer from Leary. He wants to be a little bit more deadly for his villagers if he does get in here. This is so fun to watch. Like, how do I even cast that? The dodge to the left. The dodge to the right. Vil just getting away now. A Viper should, in theory, be in a better position because he has more ranges and he has the hill. But Leary's just dodging perfectly. And he's getting the better trades here. Like, there was one for one. But another good shot for Leary. If it was on even ground, a lot of these would have been going Leary's way anyway. Because he'd be doing more damage than he is currently. So this is just the fight before the fight. It does matter because you don't want to give your opponent momentum. If you're thinking, okay, why do skirmishers matter so much? Well, it really does as the game goes on and the upgrades become available to you with greater economy. You know, again, they are working on their economy as they are fighting this. So that's the most impressive thing about it. And Leary has just been insane. Look at the KD. Using pretty much the same units here. Both players went for... The Drush, both players went for the Skirms. I'm sure Viper threw away a couple Archers, but man, these pickoffs from Leary have been crazy. Versus a guy who has three ranges, and who has the hill, and he continues. It's a micro well. I thought Viper was going to be tempted to add a stable, maybe, uh, seeing as he's fallen behind in numbers. He's catching up now. It's 21 military for Leary and 16 for Viper. And oh, there we go. There we go. There's the stable now for Leary. He should probably hide these scouts. So now this basically for forces Viper to add archers. He only has three archers in there. Uh, he does have defense upgrades, of course. But I think with three scouts, Leary could then start pushing up this hill. Viper sending the next batch of, batch of archers out of the archery ranges. Every archer that Leary kills is so big now. Leary's also getting scale barding armor. The scouts will be that much tankier. And another big pickoff for Leary. Viper maybe in a position now on the hill to get some of these weak ones. Nope. Not happening for him. There we go. He gets one, but he's lost one. I think with four scouts, this is where you fight in Leary's position. There's always that risk if you invest too much into the fight, if you wait too long, or your opponent will have the archers to micro your scouts down. It's a waste in the end. And what has been keeping Viper in these fights is his hill. And Viper understands there's a potential that scouts will show up. And there'll be five scouts. Military numbers are close now. It's all down to the units. And I think Viper has enough archers where he can kill these scouts with the hill advantage. Also, Viper's keeping his archers behind, but Leary killing so many units still. And now Bloodlines. Now with Bloodlines and Scale Barning, it's different. And with six scouts, it's different. Leary's only on one stable, right? Yeah, just one stable. Viper's three ranges. How will this go? This is going to be the first time the Viper sees this. He has a lot of archers. Half this army is archers, but he's losing them to the skirms, and that's exactly what Leary will do. He's going to send in the scouts now, kill as many archers as possible. That way the skirms get shredded by his scouts with bloodlines, with scale barding. For the first time, Leary gets the hill. Viper knows he's in trouble. Viper building a tower on the gold. And will the pressure be too much for Viper to deal with? Look at the archer numbers, guys. They're getting whittled down by the skirmishers. Look at Leary move in with the skirms. Disregard Viper's skirms. And push the archers back to the TC. That was a perfectly timed attack. Because Viper has a ton of resources. He was looking towards the castle age. But those engagements favor Leary so much, and he put himself in the position to go for the hidden scout attack. If he didn't win those fights and Viper had more units, then Viper maybe would have spotted that and had more map control. But now Viper is forced 
go to tower he's probably going to be forced to market honestly because his eco is going to be destroyed and that's all the scouts you need to see from leary i think that investment is well worth it to get the hill to delay the farms and yep he's clicked up the castle age now and he's looking towards probably camels and elite skirm and viper's in deep trouble now that was a big loss for him lots of gold units lost Bad trades, even with the skirmishers. And he has not clicked up the castle yet. His farms were delayed. And the skirmishers killing more archers here. And the scouts can fight underneath the tower. I think Viper has no choice but to fight this with the villagers. He can't do it with the archers and the skirms, that's for sure. And what was that? Two villagers went down there, I think. And... A few more archers for Viper. Viper's at 13 military. He is on his way to Castle Age, but he continues to take losses, and now Viper will lose all these villagers too. If Leary was in, or if Viper was in Leary's position right now, I would say it's game over. We know the guy has potential for comebacks. But I just feel like he has lost far too much here. He can't comfortably create archers. If he has archers, he loses them. And Leary's resources, look at that, almost 900 food, more skirms coming forward. You know we're going to see the camels, you know we're going to see the defense upgrades. Great play from Leary, you got to hand it to him guys. He's played this exactly as he should have played it with Indians, and he's still harassing Viper on this side. We are going to see Castle for both though, Viper's going to rely on his micro. And no, he knows he's behind, he's called the GG. He was hoping that he would hit Castle Age first. And Leary takes the game and is now 4-2. And Leary is still alive, my friends. Well, great game. And I'm really happy for the series that we'll get to see another game. Very happy for Leary because it's obvious he has the skill. All right, sorry, just sending a text message there. There's the KD, there's the eco difference. I mean, with Indians, if you get that big advantage, you can normally push it home. I think that's a mismatch with the Civs. Leary could have used Indians in game one, for example, maybe got a, got a victory there, but he was banking on saving some of his stronger civilizations till later. There's the technology stats, and we will move on to game seven, right? Game seven. Math is hard, right? Did we hit the record yet? Nope. Looks like still at 1,800.